South Africa has been on a multidimensional development journey since the end of apartheid in 1994, defined by political transformation, economic diversification, and societal growth. Nelson Mandela's presidency reflected the nation's transition from apartheid to democracy, leading to the development of democratic institutions and a Truth and Reconciliation Commission aimed at national healing. South Africa is one of the most industrialized economies on the African continent, with enormous natural resources and a developing service industry, but it has persistent difficulties such as unemployment and inequality. Though significant progress has been made in areas such as education and healthcare access, gaps persist. Despite this, South Africa's diverse cultural environment, which includes contributions to art, music, and literature, continues to enchant the world. In this video, we are going to explore 25 of South Africa's grandest and most ambitious projects, but first please leave a like and a sub so more people can see this. 25. Hydrogen Valley Development Hydrogen Valley Development is a promising new frontier in South Africa's pursuit of long-term energy solutions. The country hopes to harness the power of hydrogen as a clean and adaptable energy carrier in this ambitious endeavor to solve environmental issues, cut carbon emissions, and stimulate economic growth. The installation of integrated hydrogen production, storage, and distribution systems in specific locations is required for the development of hydrogen valleys. These areas become hydrogen production hubs, utilizing a variety of ways, frequently utilizing renewable energy sources such as wind and solar power. South Africa is well suited for this endeavor due of its tremendous renewable energy potential, particularly in the windswept Karoo region. Furthermore, hydrogen valley development is consistent with the global shift toward renewable energy and sustainability. As South Africa strives to reduce its carbon footprint, Hydrogen provides a clean energy option with a wide range of applications, including fuel cell vehicles, industrial operations, and power generation. Furthermore, it opens up chances for hydrogen export to worldwide markets, thereby increasing the nation's economy. The creation of hydrogen valleys is a bold step that demonstrates South Africa's commitment to a greener future and positions the country as a vital player in the burgeoning hydrogen economy. 24. The Oceans Economy Development Plan The Oceans Economy Development Plan of South Africa is a comprehensive and forward-thinking program that uses the country's enormous coastline to encourage sustainable economic growth, create jobs, and solve major environmental concerns. South Africa's waters are a large resource brimming with potential, with a coastline reaching over 2,800 kilometers. This comprehensive approach aims to utilize the sea's economic potential while remaining ethical and environmentally mindful. It includes marine transportation and industry, fisheries and aquaculture, offshore oil and gas development, and marine tourism. The Oceans Economy Development Plan recognizes the significance of marine biodiversity conservation, pledging to safeguard marine ecosystems while still harnessing the ocean's riches. South Africa hopes to reduce unemployment, particularly in coastal towns, and diversify its economy outside conventional sectors by encouraging the growth of these sectors. It demonstrates the country's appreciation for the oceans as a valued asset, as well as its commitment to sustainable development, which fits with global efforts to balance economic growth and environmental preservation in the marine sector. 23. Sasol Secunda Petrochemical Complex Upgrade the upgrade of the Sasol Secunda Petrochemical Complex is an important industrial development project in South Africa, representing a critical investment in the country's petrochemical industry. This facility, located in the municipality of Secunda, is one of the world's largest integrated petrochemical plants. The restoration includes significant improvements and upgrades to ensure the complex's efficiency and sustainability. This complex project is being led by Sasol, a key participant in the South African energy and chemical sectors. The Secunda Petrochemical Complex is being upgraded in multiple ways, including increasing the capacity of various petrochemical products, improving energy efficiency, and lowering the environmental footprint using sophisticated technology. Sasol aspires to make its operations more environmentally friendly 
while boosting the overall competitiveness and value of its products by investing in cutting-edge processes and technologies. This advancement demonstrates South Africa's dedication to innovation, sustainability, and retaining a strong presence in the global petrochemical industry, which is critical to the country's economy. The Saisal Secunda Petrochemical Complex upgrade demonstrates the industry's relevance in the South African context and is a strategic step toward assuring the industry's continuing expansion and success in an evolving global market. 22. The Mondi Richards Bay Mill Expansion The Mondi Richards Bay Mill Expansion is an important industrial project in South Africa that demonstrates the company's commitment to the region, as well as its commitment to sustainable paper and packaging manufacturing. The mill, which is located in the seaside city of Richards Bay, is an important part of Mondi's global activities. The mill's expansion project intends to boost production capacity, improve product options, and integrate more environmentally friendly technologies and processes. One of the main goals of this development is to strengthen the mill's position as a global leader in the pulp and paper sector. Mondi is known for its sustainable and innovative processes, and the expansion reflects the company's commitment to minimize environmental impact while providing high-quality products. With a focus on responsible raw material sourcing, energy efficiency, and waste reduction, this initiative not only boosts the mill's competitiveness in the international market, but also demonstrates its commitment to environmental stewardship. The Mondi Richards Bay Mill expansion exemplifies South Africa's commitment to sustainable industrial growth by demonstrating how environmentally responsible practices can be integrated into the heart of the country's manufacturing sectors, assuring a profitable and environmentally conscious future. 21. ESCOM Power Plant Maintenance and Upgrade Program The ESCOM Power Plant Maintenance and Upgrade Program is an important program in South Africa's energy sector that aims to improve the dependability, efficiency, and environmental performance of ESCOM's power-producing facilities. ESCOM is the state-owned energy utility that generates the bulk of South Africa's electricity, and this program tackles the urgent need to repair and modernize aging power plants. Given the country's reliance on coal-fired power generation, it is critical that these facilities run efficiently and in accordance with tougher environmental regulations. This program includes a variety of tasks such as periodic maintenance, equipment upgrades, and the use of cleaner technologies. To cut emissions and comply with environmental standards, ESCOM is retrofitting its power facilities with new pollution control technology. It also tries to increase overall plant efficiency by lowering energy losses during power generation. The Maintenance and Improvement Program is a holistic approach that not only assures the country's electricity supply security, but also positions South Africa for a more sustainable energy future. It demonstrates the country's commitment to moving toward cleaner and more efficient energy production, addressing environmental concerns, and preserving reliable power generation capabilities in an ever-changing global energy scene. 20. Nuclear Power Plant Nuclear power stations are key infrastructure in South Africa's energy sector, supplying a large amount of the country's electricity needs. These plants demonstrate the country's dedication to diversifying its energy sources and guaranteeing a reliable electricity supply. South Africa has two nuclear power plants, Coburg near Cape Town and Thisbunt in the Eastern Cape, which is being expanded. Coburg, which was built in the 1980s, has been an important component of the nation's electrical infrastructure, producing electricity consistently for decades. The Thisbunt expansion is part of South Africa's ambition to increase nuclear capacity in order to satisfy rising power demand. Nuclear power has several advantages, including low greenhouse gas emissions, high energy density, and the potential to provide electricity indefinitely. It does, however, provide issues in terms of safety, radioactive waste management, and public perception. South Africa is deeply committed to nuclear safety and has proven its ability to run nuclear facilities safely. The government also promotes responsible waste management, and the growth plans include lessons learned from the global nuclear sector to improve safety and reduce environmental effect. South Africa's nuclear power plants play an important role in the country's energy mix, providing a constant and stable source of electricity as the country seeks to balance energy security 
environmental concerns, and economic development. 19. National Broadband Network South Africa's national broadband network is a disruptive and ambitious effort aimed at providing high-speed internet connectivity to communities across the country. Access to broadband has become more important for economic development, education, healthcare, and social connectivity in many countries, including the United States. The national broadband network is a reaction to this demand aimed to bridge the digital divide and provide dependable and fast internet service to even the most remote and underserved places. The National Broadband Network project entails the development and deployment of a nationwide high-speed fiber optic network, which will be supplemented by other technologies such as fixed wireless and satellite to ensure that all South Africans, regardless of location, have access to the internet. The project does more than just provide access, it also promotes innovation and economic progress. As South Africa continues its digital transformation, the National Broadband Network will play a critical role in linking schools, healthcare institutions, businesses, and individuals, allowing them to fully engage in the digital age. It's a massive undertaking that recognizes the importance of connectivity in the modern world, as well as South Africa's dedication to ensuring that no one is left behind in the digital revolution. 18. National Housing Program South Africa's National Housing Program is a broad and far-reaching initiative aiming at tackling the country's housing difficulties and ensuring that every citizen has access to adequate, affordable, and sustainable housing. Housing has long been a significant issue in South Africa, owing to the country's apartheid history and socioeconomic inequality. The National Housing Program was established to address this issue directly by providing cheap housing solutions, eliminating informal settlements, and improving living circumstances for millions of South Africans. The National Housing Program includes a number of policies and projects, such as the construction of new housing units, the improvement of informal settlements, and the provision of subsidies to low-income households. The program aims to make affordable housing available to a greater spectrum of South Africans, with a special emphasis on historically disadvantaged neighborhoods. It stresses infrastructure development, ensuring that communities have access to basic utilities, such as water, sewage, and electricity, in addition to housing. The National Housing Program highlights the South African government's major commitment to addressing housing inequities, promoting social fairness, and raising people living conditions. It recognizes housing as a vital human right and a cornerstone of economic and social development. 17. Sapi Ngadwana Mill Expansion The Sapi Ngadwana Mill Expansion is a significant industrial project in South Africa's Mpumalanga region, representing a critical investment by the worldwide pulp and paper firm Sapi Limited. This development demonstrates SAPI's dedication to upgrading operations and increasing its worldwide competitiveness in the pulp and paper industry. The Ngadwana Mill is an important part of SAPI's global network, producing a variety of products such as pulp, paper, and specialty cellulose. The mill's production capacity and efficiency will be increased as part of the expansion project, as will upgraded environmental management and sustainability standards. The mill aims to lower its environmental footprint and enhance operational efficiency by implementing cutting-edge technologies. Furthermore, the expansion is consistent with global trends in sustainable forestry and resource management, stressing responsible raw material procurement and supporting environmentally friendly production techniques. It demonstrates SAPI's commitment to retaining industry leadership while being a responsible corporate citizen, taking into account not just the economic, but also the environmental and social implications of its operations. The expansion of the Sapi Ngadwana Mill demonstrates South Africa's significance in the global pulp and paper sector, as well as its commitment to environmentally responsible industrial development. 16. The Volkswagen South Africa Wiedenhage Plant Upgrade The Volkswagen South Africa Wiedenhage Plant Upgrade is a substantial investment in the automotive industry in South Africa. This manufacturing facility, located in Muidenhage, Eastern Cape, is part of the global Volkswagen Group, and the renovation project demonstrates the company's commitment to modernizing operations while growing production capacities in the region. 
Volkswagen is one of South Africa's main automakers, and the Wittenhage facility has been a vital contributor to the country's automotive economy for decades. The improvement project includes numerous main goals, such as expanding the manufacturing facility, integrating sophisticated automation and digital technologies, and implementing more eco-friendly and energy-efficient production methods. These improvements are intended not just to increase the Wittenhage plant's production capacity, but also to reduce the environmental impact of its operations. Volkswagen South Africa complies with global automotive industry trends that emphasize cleaner and more efficient production by implementing sustainable manufacturing techniques and sophisticated technologies. The Uitenhage plant improvement is a critical driver for South Africa's automotive sector, promoting economic growth, job creation, and technological innovation while adhering to more ecologically friendly practices. It exemplifies the country's dedication to sustainable industrial development as well as its position as a competitive player in the global automotive sector. 15. The Renewable Energy Independent Power Producers Program The Renewable Energy Independent Power Producers Program is a watershed moment in South Africa's energy sector, with the goal of hastening the transition to cleaner, more sustainable energy sources. This program, which began in 2011, promotes private sector engagement in the construction of renewable energy projects in order to diversify the nation's energy mix and reduce dependency on fossil fuels. South Africa has an abundance of renewable energy resources, such as wind, solar, and biomass, making it an ideal location for such a program. The Renewable Energy Independent Power Producers Program is an important part of the country's overall energy policy, fostering economic growth, job creation, and environmental stewardship. The Renewable Energy Independent Power Producers Program is based on a competitive bidding process that enables independent power producers to develop and operate renewable energy projects. These projects contribute to the national grid, bringing clean electricity to South African homes and businesses. The initiative has been extremely effective in drawing substantial private sector investment and promoting job growth. Furthermore, it has allowed South Africa to reach its renewable energy targets while reducing greenhouse gas emissions, resulting in significant progress in addressing climate change issues. The Renewable Energy Independent Power Producers Program exemplifies the government's commitment to creating a low-carbon energy future, demonstrating South Africa's potential as a global leader in renewable energy development. 14. The Car Powership Gas Turbines Project the Car Powership Gas Turbines Project is a groundbreaking South African effort that aims to meet the country's growing demand for reliable electricity by leveraging the power of floating power plants outfitted with gas turbines. These power plants, dubbed Car Powerships, are essentially self-contained energy-producing devices that are moored along coastlines. For many years, South Africa has struggled with electricity supply issues, and the Car Powership Project provides a flexible and quick way to overcome this energy gap. The Car Powership Gas Turbines Project has the potential to boost South Africa significantly. It provides a dependable and quick start power production solution that can be quickly deployed to supplement the national grid during peak demand periods or crisis. These floating power plants gas turbines are very efficient and can start and stop fast, allowing for responsive power output that can assist to stabilize the grid. This project is consistent with South Africa's goals of guaranteeing a secure and continuous electrical supply, consequently promoting economic growth, industrial development, and higher living standards for the country's inhabitants. Furthermore, the project employs cutting-edge technologies to reduce environmental effect, making it an example of sustainable and responsible energy generating. It demonstrates the country's commitment to diversifying its energy sources and guaranteeing a more resilient and efficient power supply for all of its citizens. 13. The National Water and Sanitation Program The National Water and Sanitation Program is a critical program in South Africa that aims to provide all citizens with access to clean and safe drinking water as well as basic sanitation. Water and sanitation access is a basic human right and a critical determinant in public health, economic development, and overall well-being. 
The South African government's commitment to eliminating historical imbalances, fostering equitable access to water resources, and enhancing the quality of water and sanitation services across the country is driving this effort. The National Water and Sanitation Program includes a number of initiatives and projects aimed at improving water infrastructure, optimizing resource management, and improving sanitation services. These efforts aim to promote water conservation, reduce water waste, and ensure sustainable resource management in addition to providing access. They address issues such as water scarcity, outdated infrastructure, and water contamination, with a focus on rural and marginalized communities. The initiative exemplifies South Africa's commitment to improving citizens' quality of life, promoting public health, and promoting economic growth by ensuring that all communities have access to clean water and sufficient sanitation facilities. 12. National Roads Maintenance and Upgrade Program South Africa's National Roads Maintenance and Upgrade Program is a broad and critical initiative aimed at increasing the quality and safety of the country's road infrastructure. South Africa has an enormous road network that is vital to the country's transportation system, economic development, and social connectivity. However, maintaining and expanding this network is critical to ensure that the roads stay in good shape and can meet the growing demands of a modern economy. To fulfill present and future transportation needs, this program focuses on a variety of initiatives, including routine maintenance, enhancements, and the construction of new roadways. Its goal is to alleviate traffic congestion, improve road safety, and increase access to diverse parts of the country, particularly underserved rural communities. By maintaining a stable and safe road network for the transportation of goods and people, the National Roads Maintenance and Upgrade Program is critical for assuring efficient logistics, reducing travel times, and fostering economic development. It demonstrates South Africa's dedication to constructing and maintaining the infrastructure required for its growth and success. 11. The Koga Port Expansion The Koga Port Expansion is a large South African development project aimed at increasing the capacity and efficiency of the Koga Industrial Development Zone, which is located near Port Elizabeth in the Eastern Cape. This extension is part of the government's larger infrastructure development strategy and it coincides with South Africa's goals of stimulating economic growth, attracting investment, and creating job opportunities. The Koga Industrial Development Zone is strategically located as a hub for industrial and commercial activities, and its port facilitates commerce, manufacturing, and logistical operations. The Koga port expansion includes several components, including harbor dredging and deepening, increased port handling capacity, and port infrastructure expansion to accommodate larger boats. These enhancements are meant to make the Koga port a more appealing gateway for imports and exports, as well as a more competitive option for sectors that rely on efficient logistics. This extension project is also expected to generate major job opportunities and improve regional economic development, benefiting both the local economy and South Africa's broader growth strategy. 10. The Richards Bay Port Expansion The Richards Bay Port Expansion is a large South African development project, with a primary focus on the Richards Bay Coal Terminal Richards Bay is a critical cargo handling facility in South Africa and is internationally acknowledged as a top bulk export terminal. The enlargement project is critical for a number of reasons. For starters, it is crucial to South Africa's ability to export huge volumes of coal, which is a vital contributor to the country's economy. Second, the development is critical to fulfilling rising demand for coal exports, particularly to international markets like as China and India. The project includes multiple components, including the deepening and broadening of the harbor to handle larger vessels, the construction of new berths and stockyards, and improvements to the port's rail and road infrastructure. These enhancements aim to boost port capacity, efficiency, and minimize bottlenecks, allowing for a more efficient movement of cargo. The Richards Bay port expansion is strategically important because it strengthens South Africa's position as a significant player in the global coal trade, supporting regional economic growth and job creation. Furthermore, it aligns with the country's goals of modernizing its infrastructure, promoting international trade, and attracting investment in the constantly changing world of maritime transportation. 9. 
the Durban Port Expansion. The Durban Port Expansion is an important project in South Africa's infrastructure development strategy that aims to modernize and expand the capacity of the country's busiest and largest port, the Port of Durban. Durban is an important marine gateway for South Africa, handling a significant amount of the country's imports and exports. The growth of this important port is critical to meeting the nation's expanding demands in the economy, worldwide trade, and logistics. The enlargement project has several components, including harbor deepening and broadening, the development of new berths and container processing facilities, and the optimization of rail and road connections to the port. These upgrades are intended to boost the port's handling capacity, allow for larger vessels, and improve operational efficiency. As South Africa promotes itself as a vital player in international trade and manufacturing, the expansion of Durban Port is critical to achieving these goals by guaranteeing the smooth and efficient movement of products. It also serves as an economic anchor in the surrounding region, producing jobs, stimulating investment, and contributing to South Africa's larger industrial and logistics infrastructure ambitions. 8. The Transnet Rail Network Upgrade the Transnet Rail Network upgrade is a major infrastructure project in South Africa that aims to improve the efficiency and capacity of the country's railway system. South Africa's substantial rail network is critical for the country's economic development and competitiveness since it plays a critical role in the movement of products. The improvement project has several components, including rail infrastructure upgrading, procurement of new rolling equipment, expansion of current railway lines, and construction of new rail corridors to boost connectivity and throughput. The Transnet Rail Network upgrade is critical for several reasons. It promotes economic growth by providing a low-cost, dependable, and environmentally friendly method of delivering commodities over great distances. South Africa can lessen its dependency on road transportation, which is generally associated with higher prices and a greater environmental effect by expanding and enhancing the network. Furthermore, this effort seeks to improve connectivity between key industrial and manufacturing hubs, allowing for more efficient logistics and contributing to the nation's economic development. The improvement project is also in line with South Africa's larger goals of lowering carbon emissions and encouraging ecologically sustainable transportation methods. 7. The Johannesburg Pretoria High Speed Rail Project the Johannesburg Pretoria High Speed Rail Project is a bold and imaginative South African transportation effort that aims to connect the country's two major urban centers, Johannesburg and Pretoria, with a modern and efficient high speed rail network. These two cities are at the heart of South Africa's economic and administrative activity, and their growth and development are critical. The high speed rail project intends to alleviate growing worries about traffic congestion shorten travel times between the two cities, and promote sustainable, high-capacity, and quick passenger transportation. The high-speed rail system will comprise contemporary train sets capable of reaching speeds substantially faster than ordinary trains, cutting travel time between Johannesburg and Pretoria to a quarter of what it is now. It also seeks to be a more environmentally friendly means of transportation than driving. This initiative is an innovative method that highlights the importance of efficient and sustainable transportation in encouraging economic development and lowering environmental damage. It is part of South Africa's larger endeavor to update its transportation infrastructure and meet the mobility needs of its rising urban population, while also promoting environmental sustainability and reducing traffic congestion. 6. The King Shaka International Airport Expansion the King Shaka International Airport expansion is a notable South African development project located in Durban, KwaZulu-Natal. This extension project is critical to the economic development and tourism business of the region. The airport, named after the mythical Zulu King Shaka, is one of South Africa's major aviation hubs, serving both domestic and international flights. The expansion demonstrates South Africa's desire to promote KwaZulu-Natal as a premier tourism and economic location. The King Shaka International Airport expansion consists of several components, including the extension of the runway, the construction of new passenger terminals and improvements to airport services.
This development will improve the airport's capacity, allowing it to handle larger aircraft and accommodate expanding passenger numbers. It also aims to enhance the overall passenger experience by providing cutting-edge amenities and cutting-edge technology, which is critical for boosting Durban's role as a major gateway for international and domestic visitors. The project is consistent with South Africa's larger tourism and economic growth goals, as it not only creates jobs but also boosts the country's position in the global aviation industry. Furthermore, by establishing Durban as a desirable vacation and business destination, the airport expansion project assists the city and the province of KwaZulu-Natal in fulfilling its economic development and international connection potential. 5. The N2 Wild Coast Highway Upgrade The N2 Wild Coast Highway Upgrade is a major transportation infrastructure project in South Africa that aims to enhance the Eastern Cape's road network, improve connectivity, and stimulate economic growth. The N2 Highway is an important transportation corridor that connects large towns such as Durban and East London while also traveling through attractive locations such as the Wild Coast. The project's goal is to modernize the highway, making it safer, more efficient, and capable of accommodating additional traffic while also boosting access to the Wild Coast region. The N2 Wild Coast Highway upgrade entails building new bridges, widening the route, and implementing safety measures. This expansion aims to promote economic development, improve road safety, and provide critical access to underprivileged communities, in addition to increasing road quality. It is consistent with South Africa's goals of improving transportation infrastructure, promoting economic growth in underdeveloped areas, and growing the tourism industry. Furthermore, the project understands the importance of environmental preservation and is planned to have the least possible influence on the natural surroundings, notably the environmentally vulnerable Wild Coast Zone. South Africa's dedication to creating world-class road infrastructure that fosters economic growth, regional development, and environmental sustainability is exemplified by the N2 Wild Coast Highway upgrade. 4. Aerotropolis Development Aerotropolis development is a strategic urban and economic development idea centered on airports as the primary growth drivers. South Africa has adopted this notion, particularly at Johannesburg's or Tambo International Airport and Durban's King Shaka International Airport, with the goal of building flourishing metropolitan districts surrounding these aviation hubs. The idea is to turn airports from basic transportation hubs into dynamic economic engines that attract firms, investments, and tourists. Aerotropolis development include the creation of infrastructure, business parks, logistics centers, and other amenities near the airport in order to attract a variety of businesses, including logistics, manufacturing, finance, and hospitality. This strategy aims to capitalize on aviation's economic benefits by boosting connectivity, enabling trade, and making it easier for people and things to move quickly and efficiently. It is a visionary plan that acknowledges the critical role of airports in today's worldwide economy and seeks to capitalize on this by developing vibrant, interconnected urban centers that generate economic growth and competitiveness in South Africa. The growth of Aerotropolis not only benefits the economy, but also strengthens South Africa's position as a regional and worldwide commercial and tourism hub, while also promoting urban development and job creation. 3. The Lanseria Airport Smart City The Lanseria Airport Smart City is an innovative urban development project located near Lanseria International Airport, which serves the Johannesburg metropolitan area. This ambitious project exemplifies a modern approach to urban planning and development, concentrating on the creation of a sustainable and technologically advanced city. The goal is to create a smart city that uses current technologies and innovative urban design to improve citizens' quality of life, infrastructure, and economic growth. Lanseria Airport Smart City envisions an integrated urban ecosystem focused on environmental sustainability, efficient transit networks, and high-quality living places. It employs cutting-edge technology such as Internet of Things, renewable energy sources, and smart infrastructure to improve city services such as transportation, trash management, and energy usage.
The project's goal is to address urban issues such as traffic congestion, pollution, and resource management, while also building a lively and inclusive community. 2. The Waterberg to Makopane Railway Line is an important infrastructure project in South Africa's transportation network, specifically designed to improve rail connections and boost passenger and cargo transit in the Limpopo province. The rail network of South Africa has long played an important role in facilitating the transportation of goods and people, and the expansion of this railway line is a strategic step to further encourage economic growth and regional development. The project entails extending and modernizing the existing railway line between Waterberg and Mokopane in order to increase the efficiency and capacity of this transit route. The development not only improves transit options, but it also promotes environmental sustainability by lowering reliance on road traffic, which can be more expensive and have a greater environmental impact. The Waterberg to Makopane Railway Line project contributes to South Africa's overall economic and regional development goals by fostering better and more dependable train links. Furthermore, it is consistent with the country's goals of modernizing its transportation infrastructure promoting job development and facilitating more sustainable and efficient logistics to meet the demands of a rising economy and population. South Africa's dedication to supporting economic development, improving regional connections, and contributing to a more sustainable and efficient transportation network is exemplified by this project. 1. Smart City in Saldana Bay the creation of a smart city in Saldana Bay symbolizes an ambitious and forward-thinking urban planning endeavor along South Africa's western Cape coastline. This ambitious project aspires to build an urban environment that is technologically advanced, environmentally sustainable, and economically dynamic. The notion of a smart city in Saldana Bay relies upon the adoption of cutting-edge technologies and digital infrastructure to improve resident quality of life resource management, and economic growth. The Saldanha Bay Smart City is intended to maximize city services and infrastructure by leveraging modern technology, such as the Internet of Things and data analytics. It promotes intelligent transportation systems, efficient energy use, and resource management that is sustainable. The architecture of the city stresses environmentally friendly activities, urban green spaces, and an emphasis on environmental sustainability. This approach not only improves inhabitants' quality of life, but also portrays Saldanha Bay as a paradigm of technological innovation, economic opportunity, and environmental stewardship. South Africa's dedication to embrace digital breakthroughs, green technologies, and innovation to create more livable, sustainable, and efficient urban centers that promote economic growth and improve the general well-being of its residents is embodied in the Smart City Initiative. It demonstrates the country's commitment to being an African leader in smart city development. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a sub to the channel so more people can see this.